I, mean, I think I've been here all year, so it's not uh, necessarily, uh, you know, anything lacking. You know, Cap's just a great player, you know, and that's he just sees things. He's had so much experience that that's really, you know, I mean, Cap's just fantastic at what he does. So I'm just hoping to go out there, play to the best of my ability each play, and, you know, hopefully be there when Teddy needs me the most. How long did it take you to come learn a new one? I mean, you know, when you came over, it's the same maybe concept, they call different things. You know, you're, you knew it in French, now you have to learn German or whatever. I mean, how long was that process before you felt pretty comfortable? Yeah, I mean, I think actually it kind of helped that we had a little, uh, when I came, I practiced for like one day right when I got here, and then we had a little three-day break that I kind of, I was able to come in here and work just, just with Frage and Frank and iron out some of the, some of the specifics of what's different, what's the same. Cause Frank knew what uh, system I came from. So he was able to help me with that. So I think it was, you know, it's always a learning process. Even to this day, you're always learning st everything new, but uh, for the most part, I think I had it down pretty early on. Were there, were there big differences in what Frank was teaching in terms of stunt pickups and, and you know, man zone, all those different kind of concepts, or was there a lot of similarity there? Uh, certain similarities and certain differences. There's a little bit of both, I would say. Um, and, you know, takes you a little bit of time to learn what techniques he wants to use compared to your other coaches. But uh, everything that I've learned from those coaches and from Frank, you know, you, you, you tweak and you learn and you, you use everything to the best of your ability. I was. I grew up about seven, eight minutes from the stadium. I could, if you got on my rooftop as a child, you could probably see Lambo. So I was growing up, but you know they're out of it, so we're not too worried about them anymore right now. Did you get up on that rooftop to watch? Well, we couldn't see in the stadium, so the only time I watched was when I was in Lambo. But my dad's store is like a mile from from Lambo, so we would just park behind his store, walk walk a mile. Yeah, it was, it was cool. They do now, not when I was growing up. So he actually. I don't know how much you know about Packers season tickets, but he he signed up when my sister uh, was a baby. She's two years older than me, so she's 28. We didn't get them until four or five years ago when I was in college, so it, it took a while for him to get them. Did you keep them? So did you, did you keep the playoff game? I'm trying to remember if I ever actually went to a playoff game. Yeah, no, I never. I never since college. I haven't been to a Packers game. I don't think maybe one. Maybe one if we had a bye week somewhere between a bowl game or something. But it's been a, a long time since I've attended a Packer game. Yeah, the Packers tickets go in a will from generation to generation. They don't. Yes, they don't know it. They do not. They they do not like to uh, part with those for sure. That's a it's a valuable uh, legacy.